Hey guys, this is System and this is Seopolis. Hope everyone is well and amazing day. Let's go ahead and uh, jump into this pretty cool pack here. So yeah, this is Seopolis. It's uh, it is a ocean pack. Think uh, Skyblog in the ocean. Of course, that's uh, going to be a little bit different. It's definitely a pretty cool pack and uh, pretty pumped to try it out here. You notice that the I guess the uh, sea level is uh, right up there. We're at Y level 134 down here, so that's like 145 or so. We've got a tree, we have the sphere, we have a whole lot of grass around us. We got a whole bunch of weird sea creatures, I guess. We got the dolphins, then there's like weird like thrasher ones, so it's like predator ones out there with big teeth. They're shooting out like sonar blast, and then if they hit a mob, they run up and uh, bite them. I think they're actually blind. And then we have our tree, so that's cool there. <laughs> we have FDB alt mine, so I can kind of vein mine that with the button left of the one key, so that's pretty cool. And uh, we have a giant quest line, so if you have to, I guess uh, I, I had to set this uh, key as well. Let's go to category and go to quest here. I actually had to set this, so I set mine to tab. You can set it to whatever you want, but I uh, hit that, go into the quest here, have this information section. Let's read that, then kind of push forward. Welcome to Seopolis, a uh, water-based questing mod pack. Obviously, let's go ahead and grab that. Quest will help you on your way to survival. Let's go ahead and grab that. Kill quests only trigger on melee attacks. Range attacks do not work. That is good information. Let's go ahead and grab you. Uh, completing chapter challenges, CC, will give you a special reward. I'll show that in a second. This allows you to mine multiple blocks of the same type. Already explained that. FTB alt mine. Let's go ahead and grab you. Uh, FTB quest will allow you to share progress with your friends as you go. You have to create a team to uh, make that work, though. So let's go ahead and grab you. You have two blocks above sea level, which is safe. Anything above that is toxic to air. Basically, if you go three blocks uh, above uh, sea level, actually, you get poisoned. So that is a thing. Uh, quest lines now have sub-quest lines. Double check to make sure uh, you complete them all. So that's a thing. Go ahead and grab you. Press J to open up a full screen map, which is awesome. And C box can be used to buy items from the shop. So let's take a look at this. We get a... Big giant loud noise, uh, I guess uh, telling us that we're done that section, right? So that section turned green. We're on this one now, starting up. Come all the way down here. You can actually find the shop at the very bottom. It says useful uh, items. And you can actually use those sea bucks to buy things, right? So I could buy a stack of sand right now for 10 sea bucks if I felt so inclined. But there's all kinds of other cool stuff that we'll get to at some point. The CC ones are for finishing the chapter, right? You do all the stuff kind of around here, get all that stuff. And then you get this reward in the center here, which it looks like it's going to be a chisel station, all that jazz to kind of push forward. So that is cool. I mean, let's go ahead and get this down. Uh, Twerk is in the pack. So if you kind of mash your shift button, every once in a while, it should grow. There you go. And then we can bay mine that. Like I said, the button left of the one key. You can kind of farm that all up really quick. Let's go ahead and do that. Probably go ahead and convert that really quickly. Get ourselves a crafting station going right away. Uh, we have tinkers in here. So I can actually do the actual station, which is nice. It's kind of this recipe right here, which is cool. Pop that down. Go ahead and make ourselves a chest because a chest is nice. Let's do you. Awesome. I almost made myself a boat. But anyway, let's go ahead and do that. And we put that there. It's connected to the table now. And we'll be able to craft, you know, directly in there, which is nice. And uh, you'll be doing a lot of trees after we're done this first section here. I'm probably going to do like a stack of chests. I'm going to do a couple stacks of wood. And then I'm probably going to also go ahead and do uh, a stack of hoppers as well. Just like wooden hoppers would make because there's a lot of stuff we need to kind of get going and push forward right so it wants us to do uh let's go ahead and take some stuff here and kind of figure out what we need let's do that let's do this uh we're gonna need some dirt so let's go ahead and grab some slabs let's start with this there you go gonna want at least four of these barrels here these are from exa hilo sequentia which are pretty rad go ahead and do that we also want some shears so the shears i believe are this recipe right here need to make these wooden gears and then we do that and that and that and that. That looks good. Awesome. And we have just enough wood to actually give us a pick as well, which is nice. And we don't even have enough, I guess, sticks right now to make a crook as well, because I definitely want a crook. There we go. That's good there. And well, let's go ahead and uh, pop that right there. Go ahead and do this here. It's going to help us make more dirt. Dirt's going to be pretty useful early on, because one sapling at a time is going to get very boring really quick. So we want to uh, fix that. So we'll just go ahead and use the shear and the leaves. Go ahead and use the actual leaves on the barrels. It takes four to fill this up. They're weighted at 250. You can use other things too. I think I even put these apples in here, but you have to use like 20. But you look at the percentage there. It doesn't take very long. And then you'll actually have some dirt. So that is cool. Let's go ahead and grab that. Then we can actually get some more of the actual 
trees going at once. I'd like to at least get nine of them, right? Because <laughs> uh, that'd be very useful. Go ahead and do you. Go ahead and get uh, a couple blocks open here. Probably want to make sure you save this terracotta too, because uh, it's going to be very useful. Uh, later on, you can do like botany pots and stuff, and uh, you'll be able to use this stuff, right? Anyway, let's go ahead and do this. Sweet. Actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and do this. Get ourselves at least four more dirt going. That looks good. Then we'll go ahead and do that. Then this time, probably use the crook. The crook is the other option on the leaves, right? It's going to make it sure you get, so you get more drops. You're also going to get things like silkworms and stuff like that. Also, did I get this quest? I didn't skip it, right? No, we're good. <laughs> anyway, and then, yeah, you'll just get uh, different materials, right? By using the crook and the shears, you're probably going to want to go back and forth, right? So that's going to be kind of how that works there. Go ahead and do you. Let's do this here. Sweet and sweet. And now we have enough for uh, a good amount of trees at once. So when I go ahead and do trees by myself in a bit, I'll be able to do it at a good pace, right? I may even fill this out even more with dirt. Actually, I may go up to the sea lanterns. Anyway, let's go here for a second. I want to go down and grab that stuff we dropped. But before we do, let's do this. Let's go ahead and grab you. Grab ourselves a bowl. So I know there's a quest with this. I know there's a quest with this log as well. I want to go ahead and make sure we get all the stuff. So let's go ahead and pick it all up. Now you go to water, drop items in here. So like this log, right? Just do that. There you go. It turned that log into driftwood. Now this, I'm pretty sure, is just an aesthetic item. You can also turn it to uh, planks. So that's cool. Now the useful one, though, is to take these bulls. You throw these in here. There you go. Awesome. And then you can actually, as long as you have a little hunger, there you go. Drink these, I guess. I was going to say eat them. And then you get water breathing for 25 seconds. So if you're working around your base on the outside, you can actually, you know, breathe a little bit of air. So that is actually really useful. I'm going to go ahead and do this, too. Yeah, there you go. Sweet. There. Just to make it so the parkour, because it's like weird little parkour here to get up is a little easier, and I'm not falling as much. <laughs> anyway, let's do that. Go ahead and grab some more saplings. We'll take a look at our quest here. Might be at the point where we need to get string going, so maybe I'll do that. Let's go ahead and grow a whole bunch of these trees. There you go. Probably going to take up most of our screen. There you go. Awesome. Go ahead and actually grab some of these puppies. Now, these are silkworms. We got these from the crook, right? And uh, that's going to make it so they kind of... It's going to spread from leaf to leaf to leaf. Then when we break up with a crook, and then we're going to get a whole lot of string. And, uh, we need that string, so that's cool. So where are we at here? We need a handheld crafting thingy. Let's go ahead and grab that. Sweet. I never use this thing. It's actually really useful. I just never think to use it. Plus, I always go, do I really want to fill up an inventory spot? That's really half the reason I don't end up using it most of the time. Also, we need some vines, so let's actually grab one of these. Sweet. Uh, we could put this on the wall, too, and let it grow. I just don't see the point. Also, we need the string. The fishing rod and that, and then we'll actually be done this section. That actually didn't take very long at all. Uh, we need some more crooks, though. Let's do that, that. Yeah, let's grab two more crooks. And then finish this off, and like I said, I'm going to go and cut a bunch of wood. Do that. The sea box actually add up really quick in this pack, too. So I, I wouldn't really save them unless there's something really big you want to buy. Um, yeah, because they're, they're just, they're use them or lose them, right? Otherwise, they're just going to sit there. Plus, I think later on in the pack, with mystical agriculture, you can actually grow the things anyway. Although, I think that's quite late. Anyway, that's good there. Got some string. Might as well turn an entire stack of that into wool. That's cool. Then we're going to give ourselves, I guess, a fishing rod. Because uh, that'd be nice. Let's go ahead and do that. Sweet. Awesome. I don't know if there's really a good reason to use a fishing rod, but I guess you can. I'm pretty sure we're going to get into a strainer really quickly. So that's going to get us uh, fish and stuff. So that's cool. And then I guess we need a bed as well. So let's go ahead and do that and that. Sweet. Was that the last one? There you go. Awesome. So that finishes up that chapter there. Also, you want to grab all the rewards all at once. You see these are all this rewards waiting to be grabbed. You just top right here, collect them all at once. And uh, how much do we have here? We already have 32 bucks. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get us a whole bunch of wood. So we can get a stack of chest, a stack of these two. I'll show you here. Wooden hoppers because uh, you're going to need a ton of these things. It's uh, a little obnoxious, but we're going to need a ton of these. So I went ahead and uh, did a bunch of crafting here and a little bit more quests because uh, it was really just a lot of crafting stuff. So I went ahead to automate dirt first off. So it's just a chest into a hopper into one of the wooden barrels. You can see there, you see the percentage going up, the compost going up, goes into a hopper, gets pulled out. So that very easily automates dirt. And I did two of those setups just so we get dirt at a pretty good pace because I already need that for sifting, right? So I have these here. These are the actual sieves really easy to make take a bunch of those hoppers right 
So what I was talking about, you need tons of these hoppers. So let's go ahead and do that right there. Sweet, and then you already need these meshes. These are gonna be for, I guess, actual sifting. So let's go ahead and just uh, get them all into place really quick. Let's do something like that, like that, that, and that right there. Sweet. And I also went ahead and finished up one of the sub quest lines. It's actually just for a uh, for storage drawers. So we head over here, actually right here. You see, I have this all finished up. These are just drawers. They just uh, stores a good amount of four different items. That's for the two by two one. Then there's a two by one one and a one by one. It holds 32 stacks, no matter which drawer. It just divides it by the number of slots, right? So this one would be eight per slot as opposed to just nice and visible, uh, visual and then shift right click to uh, kind of do that and right click to put it back in. And if you have a whole lot of stacks, like if I had all this wood here, for instance, and uh, just right clicked it, took the one out of my inventory as well and did uh, put it right in there. So that is cool. So what we need to do right now is uh, probably go ahead and uh, I guess accept this here. Let's go ahead and get that out of there. Go to wooden tech and then go to the next step. Next step here is gonna be two things. We need to sift down some leaves and some dirt. So let's go ahead and get that done. Head into here, grab some dirt, more dirt. There you go. We had a quest for dirt anyway, and then some leaves. The leaves are gonna be for, I guess, all our saplings. We're gonna get all our saplings via the leaves. So that is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and do that. So all the different kinds of trees will get really quickly this way, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. And uh, this thing is a multi-block. It could be up to, I believe a five by five is the max size. I just went with three by three. We're a little limit on space, right? So that's cool. Then we need to do this as well. I should probably grab the rest of these too. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab them. The dirt's going to give us, I guess we go to use on that. Check that out. Go over here. You can see everything's going to give us. It's just all these different kind of stone pebbles, right? So that is cool. And then we're going to be able to combine that up to get our first cobblestone of stone. And that's kind of the point of it, right? So let's go ahead, get this little bit of dirt done here. I know you guys don't want to watch me do dirt all day. There you go. Awesome. Let's go ahead and get our actual saplings. You need to actually convert them, right? And the way you do that is just put them down on a piece of dirt and then break them. There you go. They're actually converted over from the X and the Hilo Sequentia ones. So we do that really easy. Something like that there. Awesome. And I believe we actually have a quest to do 64 of each kind of wood. And I'll do that at some point. Probably go up above them and actually do that because uh, we'll actually have more space up there. And uh, might as well visit the surface either way. <laughs> right? There you go. Oh, I actually have them all. I'm just doing the same ones over and over now. Let's get those out of there. We just need our jungle seeds. Let's get them done. Cool. And there we go. That's actually done. And then the pebbles, we just hit K while hovering over them. It'll combine them. They're actually like a two by two craft, right? So it's just like that. And uh, that is how that's done. So that's done there. You see that's all done. Next thing it wants is a hammer and other stones. Oh, it wants us to, do I not have granite pebbles? Oh, they're down here. Let's go ahead and get them done. Cool. Awesome. So one of the things that it wants us to do right away, let's head over here. Let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and uh, hunt down some sticks. There you go. Sweet. We need a stone wand. So we'll get one of them done. Oh, it wants a cobblestone. Oh no, it wants a hammer first. Let's go ahead and make the hammer. There you go. Awesome. Can we not make the stone wand? Is that a piece of cobblestone maybe? Let's see here. Stone wand. Right there. Yeah, it's cobblestone. So it, it's weird in this pack because in most packs, you get the cobblestone, you got to turn it into stone. This one, you actually get, uh, I guess, it's the other way around, right? You have to go ahead and get, uh, I guess, regular stone and turn it into uh, cobblestone. So that is what we just did there. It also wanted us to crush down all this other stuff as well. So it wanted to do the crushed granite, crushed diorite, and the, uh, whatever the other one is, adesite. It says this is going to be used to make lava later on. So we're going to be using that. Looks like it only takes 10 per. So that's going to be what that's for. So we're going to go ahead and drop those off for now. And that's cool. Then we can actually go ahead and actually make our wand. Let's do that. This thing's going to be just to make it so we place items a lot easier, which is nice, which is cool. And then we go out. Looks like we can use that hammer on a tree to get sawdust in a cardboard box. So what we're going to do, is just uh, vein mine that. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and grab this, I guess these wood chippings and then make a cardboard box. And then uh, we could also use this to make paper, I believe later on, just like that. So that's cool. We'll definitely have to do that at some point. It'll be just like this and this. There you go, drop that off for now. That looks good. Cardboard boxes are really cool. They can be used to like move chests around and stuff like that without, uh, I guess, losing their contents, right? 
So right now all the items are in that chest are in there just fine, which is pretty cool. I just jumped like a dork. Let's uh, head over here. Sweet. And uh, I guess do that. Shift right click that off. There you go. It's like nothing happened, right? So it is uh, pretty cool how that works there. Anyway, the next thing we need to do, it wants us to do one of these factories here. I've never done this before. I think this is for auto crafting. I've seen it in a pack before, but I've never actually used it. Do we have any more patterns? Also, uh, I made all the tickers tables too. I should cover that real quick. Get over here, you go to uh, tickers, just the tables, right? So you got a part chest, part builder, crafting station, and ticker station. It's all easy stuff, so I just crafted it up. But it wants us to make a tickers tool. It wants us to make the wooden pick and then make the stone pick as well. So might as well get that done. Let's go ahead and actually grab some of this here. Go ahead and do that. Sweet. Oh, there's my patterns there anyway. Let's go ahead and grab a binding. Let's go ahead and grab the actual tool handle. And then we'll want the hatchet head. That's cool. Then we should be able to go over here, pick the right one and put stuff in the wrong spot because it always does. And I didn't want the ax. Why did I grab the axe? Let's go ahead and drop off the axe. Let's do that. Get, it always makes us get that part chest too, and I almost never use it, although I just used it right there, so I'm kind of a liar. Anyway, let's hit over here. Sweet. There's our actual wooden pickaxe, so that's good. And then I wanted us to make the stone one on top of that, right? So might as well get that done. Let's go ahead and grab you. There's a stone pickaxe head. Awesome. And then we can go ahead, I believe, and just put that on there, just like this, which is cool. And now we have a stone pickaxe. To repair this one, we'll have to make some of these as well. These stone repair kits. So as it breaks, you just use these, combine them into your inventory, which is uh, pretty awesome as well. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab all that. That looks good. And then see where we're at here. Wooden tech, we're over here. Looks like we need compressed cobblestone, then strainers. There's another reason I said we needed so much uh, actual of these hoppers, because they just get used up immensely, right? Anyway, let's go ahead and actually grab our stone, maybe. If I can hunt down, it's like it's there. I don't know if we have enough. I should we need 27. Let me get a little bit more. So I went ahead and set them down two more stacks of dirt, which is uh, not too bad. But uh, we got ourselves about uh, 100 stone, which is actually pretty awesome. We're going to go ahead and do that factory, I think, first, though. I just want to make sure I have everything we need. I think we do. We need to get some cobblestone. I think I counted out that we need, like, 49 cobblestone. Let's go ahead and do that. Do that right there. We've got our hammer and our wand, right? So we need that and that. And then sweet. I don't think you really need a stone hammer for this either. I think you'd actually use a wood one if you want to be extra cheap because stone is pretty expensive at this point in the pack. So let's go ahead and do that right there though. Sweet. We're going to go ahead and uh, make three of these compressed right off the hop. So we're going to need those for strainers in a couple minutes. But that's cool. But I want to try out that factory they're talking about really quick. This one right here. Sweet. Awesome. Because I almost skipped it. <laughs> so this thing's supposed to be able to auto craft, right? I've never used this before. So it looks pretty basic. Let's see here. Do we have a hopper? I had to grab you. I wanted to see if I can automate this thing. Let's do that. This, if I set up our recipe here. Okay, and then this. And then do I do this? Yeah, okay. That's really basic actually and works really well. That's not bad at all. I may actually end up using that at some point. That thing seems pretty awesome all around, actually. Go ahead and get rid of you. Get rid of this. Then we're going to get into the straighter mod, which is pretty cool because it's going to get us another set of resources. So let's head over to Wooden Tech. Check this out. We have everything here. It wants us to actually make the strainers, and uh, those look pretty easy. I already have these made up. I made a bunch of those when I did the, uh, them at first because, yeah, I knew we were going to need them, right? Anyway, let's go ahead and head... I guess hunt down strainers, I guess. Let's go ahead and do three of those for now. Then we're gonna need meshes. Let's go ahead and see if we can hunt those down. One, two, three, four. We're gonna do four of them. Sweet. Then we're gonna have to do three of these ones. These are the survivalist strainers. These ones only have 120 uses, but uh, if you go to use on them, you'll see the drops we're gonna get. The most, uh, mostly what we need right now is leather. So saddles are leather. We also need, I think, a couple bottles. And uh, anything else we need there right now? I think we need the sponges for this quest line. We're also going to get one of these fisherman ones. So let's grab that. And then I guess we use this. We're going to need some of these as well. These ones actually require worms. You can just convert over the actual uh, silkworm. So that is pretty cool. Uh, this, I don't want to drop on the floor. I actually want to just store it right now. Let's get rid of that. So I need to find a place for this. It doesn't really matter where it goes. I guess I could stick it in the wall somewhere. 
do that. These things basically strain water for resources, if that makes any sense at all. Probably doesn't. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, break that, that, and that. That should be good. Then we'll go ahead and grab the actual strainers. And then that'll be actually outside in the water at that point, I believe. There's no glass above that. So we should be able to take this here, pop that there. Oh, yo, you can actually just hit shift and see the drop rates of everything right there, which is actually pretty cool. Huh, that's neat. Anyway, and in the third one for right now, I'm going to do fish, but I don't think I'll have to leave this one as fish. But if I put a worm in there, you can see the bar starts going up. It's at, uh, you know, a percentage. Once it gets 100, it'll get an item. And that, that'll kind of finish that off. Uh, one thing I need to do here, though, is do, I guess, auto collection for these. Let's do uh, barrels, though, because chest may get uh, waterlogged and leak water, right? So let's actually grab. Actually, I probably don't have enough slabs right now. So actually, oh, I do have enough slabs. Look at that. <laughs> Go ahead, grab those right there. Awesome. And then where would I want this? I guess one right here. And I guess I want the other one there. I need to break this glass, though, first. I need to really get an axe. Let's get an axe really quick. Let's go ahead and do this. Sweet. I don't want to be breaking those with my, uh, I guess the wood with my uh, hands because they're wanting to yell at me. I did enough of that with the trees. With the trees, though, it doesn't really make a really much difference with a stone one. I guess a stone one or a wood one, I guess. So I guess it didn't matter that much. Let's do that. Then we go ahead and pop that one right there. I guess it doesn't matter. I'll fix the way it's facing, I guess, later on. Um... I need that gone, and then I guess I need both of these gone. <laughs> Doesn't matter what I do. Let's just place that right there. Do that. Go ahead and get this out of here. Ah, there you go. That's cool. Did I lose those glass shards? I really want those. Yeah, these here, you can actually use these shards when you break glass to make more glass. <laughs> Eight of them gives you more glass, so that is pretty cool. And now all we have to do is go outside, I guess, and throw some hoppers on these, so... Let's go outside really quick. Sweet. Oh, I have that trap door closed, don't I? Let's uh, head out this way. Sweet. And we kind of swim out this way. And then we just need to connect these with poppers. There we go. We'll put two into one and one into the other one. And that'll be auto collection. And it'll be out of the way. And we don't have to worry about it. It'd be a little more efficient in running water. So they have like an efficiency rating. They're probably getting a penalty right now because the water isn't actually flowing. They would get a bonus in uh, flowing water, but uh, I really just want it out of the way. It doesn't matter too much. I mean, these things are pretty slow either way, right? 20% isn't going to make a massive difference over time. Anyway, that handles that. So let's take a look at what else we can get to right now. A lot of the stuff we're waiting on right now is going to be drops from that. So let's take a look here. So the next thing we can get to, we need sponges. That's going to come out of there. Bottles are going to come out of there. Big pot's going to take fish. Yeah, everything we need right now actually comes out of there. So what I might do is actually do a little trip here. Uh, we can get some free cobblestone. <laughs> There's a tower over there. It looks like it's a battle tower. Now I want to head over there and see if we can get some, like the whole bottom of it is like cobblestone. It'd be a nice free resource because cobblestone is a pain in the butt right now because I have to do the dirt. And uh, that reminds me while I'm waiting, let's go ahead, grab a bunch of that. Sweet, let's go ahead and get some more dirt being made. Doing that, 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 and that. And I may swim over to that battle tower and see if we can get some resources out of it because that seems like good free goodness, right? <laughs> Plus we can see some of the stuff that's going on out here. So we've got these fancy squids out here. We've got, uh, I guess, none of the bad mobs out here. On the top of the surface, there's like these weird pirate mobs. Like that's, I think that's just a reskin creeper. I think the other ones are like zombies and stuff. I think these guys actually give you night vision too if you can't catch up to them which is actually pretty cool. And they drop some uh, resources that are unique to them. But over here, we've got a battle tower. I have no idea about this in uh, this version of uh, Minecraft, but uh, we'll head in here real quick. Uh, probably got some holes. Got one right there. One right there. Because there'll be spawners up there. I don't want to deal with those. And probably block that off. Do I have any more wood? Let's do that. There we go. Awesome. So we're actually pretty good here. Go ahead and get this stuff out of here. Anything from that? Just some flowers. What kind of flowers are that? I was going to say, I didn't think that was in the mod. I thought it was uh, Batania at first. Get ourselves a couple free barrels. I'm not going to go up the higher levels because the second I do, we're going to take damage. So we're not dealing with that. I'm really just here for, I guess, a little bit of this. 
Double grab. Ugh, maybe. Grab some of that. And then we're going to grab a bunch of that cobblestone. Because it's just free materials at this point. So if we need some bricks, we have some bricks now. And then I guess we'll just grab whatever cobblestone right there. Sweet. Awesome. And then we'll head home. So really simple, easy, I guess, trip. But uh, we'll be waiting on a little bit, I guess, for the resources to drop from the strainers. Once it does, we'll kind of push forward and, uh, yeah, finish off some stuff. I may go up to the top here, too. So if we actually go to the very top of the base, and I'll just uh, set up some dirt, I guess, up here, somewhere around here. And then cut down a bunch of trees, too, for that quest, for the chapter close one, whatever it is. So if we go to here, go to here. Check this out. It is actually, where's the wood one? Right here. I'll probably go ahead and do that one while I'm waiting. So I went ahead and pretty much finished up all the quests in this section. You see down here, I have pretty much everything done. We have one last one here for our bedroll, then we'll be done this section. A lot of stuff wasn't that important. Like you make water breathing potions, which are pretty cool. Three minute ones are pretty easy to make. It was all pretty basic crafting, right? Sea box potion. This one uses sea box and you get a haste buff off it. It's really just gather quest, you know what I mean? I already talked about the bait pot. I went ahead and made the backpack. That is really useful. And uh, the rest of the stuff wasn't that important at all. But I got it all finished up. And then I guess over here too, I finished up everything in this one because it wasn't even a big deal. Except for the hostile mobs. We're going to finish that one up in a couple minutes here. And the compressed stone hammer. I was actually able to do this uh, using dorite. I didn't actually have to use cobblestone. So that was a nice little bonus there. And uh, everything else was pretty basic. That was just straighter drops, strainer drops. Then more patterns, stone. Yeah, just really basic, easy stuff. So that is really cool. I do have the backpack though. You kind of... Open up the slot here for bobbles, pop it in there, and then you're good. Set a hotkey for sophisticated backpacks in your controls. And then, yeah, you have access to this. You can put stuff in your backpack, portable storage, and uh, looks pretty cool in your back, actually. So that is uh, pretty rad all around. Pretty uh, pretty pumped for that. Also went ahead and built an ex uh, extension on our base. So I just went around the circle, kind of the entrance here. Went outside, put down the doors first, just so I could go in and out really easy without having to worry about water. And then just wanted it out with, uh, I guess, the stone one. And, uh, you yeah, know, just made this room here. Uh, now that we have this here, this is one of the items that made me make. It was a uh, compressed sponge on a stick. You can go ahead and clear out of the water. So just go over here. Just do that. Sweet. All the water is gone. And this room is already ready to go. This is going to be a mob farm here, which is uh, pretty awesome. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be utilized here in a second. But hopefully get us our mob drops. So that is the thing. Let's go ahead and grab you and you. Let's also go grab our bedroll real quick. Let's go to bed roll. I don't know why I have caps on. Let's get that off. Sweet. Oh, I hope if I actually look at the crafting table. What am I missing? Oh, I have to do this first. To actually get the leather out of the saddles too, you need one of these cutting boards. Do that. Grab a uh, shear here. Right click it. Get a couple of the iron nuggets. And then your leather. You get two leather out of it as well. So nice little bonus there. Anyway, go ahead and grab you. Sweet. Duh. There you go. Finished off that section there. That one's all done. Also, I went ahead and uh, I forgot I made a furnace too. Furnaces are actually easy to make since we had so much cobblestone. Go to, actually, it's right here. I pinned it right here. It says three compressed cobblestone, then five stone. So pretty easy to make once you have it. And I uh, was pretty happy we were able to get that because now I'll be able to have some torches, which is something I need in here to be able to turn this mob farm on and off. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this thing kind of ready to go. Uh, we're going to do that and that, this and that. Sweet. This mob farm is not going to be particularly safe, but I want to have a lot of spawn pads. Mostly, I should close that too. Uh, mostly so we can get slimes and other mobs. Make sure we can get all the spawns that can actually spawn in here too. This is just a bed you can put down to <laughs> anywhere you want. It just doesn't uh, reset your world spawn, right? So that is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and uh, get this going here to get the actual mob farm actually spawning though. I'm going to go all the way down here, go to Useful Items, go ahead to the Rotten Egg, click on that, submit, spend uh, 30 bucks on that, get ourselves a Rotten Egg. This is going to give us a 5x5 five five of Dreadful Dirt, which is uh, really cool. You can make this thing, but uh, we're going to just buy it because it's easier right now. And now we should have Mob Farm here, which is pretty awesome. Now, one thing I should do before we do anything is go to FTB Chunks right there. Make sure we claim this just in case a Creeper blows up. It's not going to blow up my base, <laughs> which is nice. Also went ahead and made a Tigger Stone Sword really quickly, and uh, we should be pretty much good to go. And like I said, this thing's not going to be particularly safe. <laughs> the main idea of it was just to get us all the drops, right? And uh, just get everything out of it. 
and then yeah just kind of move on um i really wanted to have those extra spawn spots like i could have just made it one deep right if i made it one deep this thing's completely safe right so that's great and all but this is gonna be able to spawn uh slimes it's also going to give us the uh tinker slimes as well so have access to those mobs and the drops so early slime seems like a good thing plus uh all the intercrawls we get to probably a good thing as well <laughs> Sweet, but it will work. It does its thing, and when I need to turn down, there you go. It's a good thing I had that on, right? <laughs> Actually turned on the FTB chunks protection. Can you just stop doing what you're doing? Anyway, this thing works really well. It's basically what I'm trying to convey here. We just need three drops out of it too. I'm just gonna do that and that, so we can actually turn them up, farm off for a second. Then that's why I added these doors here too, so I could turn them up, farm off, make sure I actually get all the drops. But I also want to be able to get these guys. These guys are being a jerk. I can't reach that one. A couple minutes in the mup farm and a death later. I actually died once. Uh, that mup farm's not very safe at all. You really have to stand back. You can't really get into the tube. You have to, you, you get to stand back on that one. But I did get two ender pearls, which is awesome. And then I'll be able to use these. So the elevator here, and I'm going to go ahead and put another one up above. So I go up and down really easy and I won't have to worry about, I have a tunnel now, don't I? No, it goes to a mup farm. I don't have to worry about that. But I'll be able to go up and down really easy whenever we need to, which is uh, pretty awesome. So I could just do that there. Go ahead and do this. These guys, too, actually drop uh, iron nuggets. Uh, I killed a couple of those when I was up here last time. <laughs> I don't know if they drop anything else, but figure free nuggets. Why not? Go away. They have a ton of hit points, though. There you go. Actually, that's a different kind of nugget. What is that? Illager silver nugget. I have to look at recipes on that at some point. But anyway. Now that we have these and uh, up and down, kind of on top of each other, we go up and down just by hitting shift and space, which is really awesome. Let's go ahead and actually finish off our quest here, though. Let's grab all our C bucks. Let's do that. Awesome. Then we should be able to go in here. I think just check that done. And pretty sweet. We're actually done the chapter, which is awesome. We have some science blocks, yellow hazard with just decoration blocks, and a chisel station. And the chisel station actually has MBT data. So it may have something in it. Let's go ahead and pop that down. Oh, it has a chisel in it and a stack of regular stone. So that is really awesome. But uh, we should be able to put blocks in here and actually chisel them, right? Yeah, we can chisel them to different kinds of blocks and uh, use this to kind of just make kind of custom blocks for decoration. Probably be using this a lot. And uh, that is actually really awesome. It doesn't take any power or anything. What's this button for? Oh, that's the, that over there. Is there anything else you could do with this? Not sure. I'm not sure why it just... Uh, Oh, chisel must be to finish this selection, right? So if I did this, right? Then did that, then I hit that. Yeah, that's how that works there. Solid stone bricks, stone number four. So there you go. Actually done the first chapter, and uh, that is really awesome. And I'm pretty pumped to play this pack. I have a lot going on. These science blocks actually look pretty nice too. Oh, they're connected textures too. I'll be using that. Hey, wait, pretty cool, pretty awesome. I think I'm gonna go ahead and actually end this one here though. I really wanted to jump through the progress in this. So we can actually get to the point where we're just not crafting, I guess, uh, you know, single progress items and actually getting to some automation. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. Well, you guys all have a good one. See you guys next video. Later.